Today's video is brought to you by SeedsNow.com. So where do we go from here, America? America? Where do we go from here? You know, I saw the stock market was kind of a little hiccup, you know, the past few days. Isn't that interesting? Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen when that goes kaput. You know, it'll kind of be like a nice, bright, shooting, fake, interest-free rate star crumbling to the down of the utter destruction and chaos of the underworld as it enters the depths of hell. And Satan greets him with the, oh, what is, where is America going from here? What's next? You know, it's interesting, we've had all these leaks, all these scandals, the NSA, Snowden. You know what I think happens? You know how I think the mainstream media spends all this bullshit? I think that we actually get a real life staged cyber attack in the not too distant future. It's the only way that they can spin this, like look what Snowden do is doing is bad. Bad boy Snowden, bad boy. That's the only way they can spin this. They've gotta show us in the American sleeping Kool-Aid drinking sheeple that look, they need to spy on us. They need to check our emails. They need to put their hands down our pants as we board an airplane. Feel us up a little, you know, tickle us a little bit down there. Used to have to pay for that kind of thing. But where does America go from here? Because we are at a stage where honestly everything is just floating on hot air. There is no reality. It's just things are supposedly okay. Even though you look at your friends and family, just spoke with another one yesterday whose wife just lost her full-time job because of Obamacare. You know, now, they've, now they're very stressed out because they can barely pay their bills. Good one, Obama. Ain't that great? Good news for middle of the road America. Why don't you fire millions of people? Because businesses can't afford to keep people employed because of your policies. That's what we're dealing with in America. It's a total Ponzi scheme. It's a total Total scam. There is no reality to any of this. The stock market yo-yoing on massive hedge fund money and fake interest rates and stimulus and bailouts into infinity. When do we have to pay the piper should be the question you ask. When does that $17 trillion plus growing national debt come into play? When do we actually have to do something about that? You know, and that's exactly why what we have coming down the line is war. It's why we've seen this with Syria. It's why Obama has prepped through the New World Order agenda to destroy and to destabilize that part of the world. It's a gateway to Iran. It's a gateway to massive oil reserves, power, wealth, so these people can feed their pockets, supposedly try to protect the United States dollar reserve, world reserve currency status. That's where we are in America today. You know, you got a bunch of gangbangers and mobsters and sorry Tony Soprano I really liked your work sorry that you know you had to go out with a massive heart attack you know when you're 50 years old which just goes to show you nobody knows you don't know when you're gonna die I could die right now on camera there'd be no one here to upload the video and then what would we do I mean life is a snap it's sand running through my fingers that's how quick the show is, yet people live in fear. Say, oh, I'm not going to do that because that would be scary. Oh, I'm going to rely on all this stuff. Uh, you know, Obama's policies seem wrong, but I'm going to count on my Social Security and pension being there. Well, guess what? It's not going to be there, America. It's not going to be there. It's going to have no real tangible value when you need it. Because guess what? We're bankrupt, baby. We're bankrupt, America. There is no America anymore unless we choose to rebuild it. Unless we choose to reform ourselves, unless we organize and tell these people in Washington, D.C., these politicians and bankers to shove it. Unless we force them from power. You know, we'll try voting, we'll try that, we've tried that in the past. Has it worked? We've tried marching in the streets, we've seen people like in the Occupy Wall Street movement and the Liberty Movement, we've seen that. So what's next is the question you should ask. What's coming next? Is it civil war? Is it global war? Is it secession? Is it the second American Revolution? Or is it just a giant leap and dive forward into a Great Depression worse than what we saw during the 1930s? You know, we'll all be clothesless. You'll see, you know, the skeleton coming out of our stomachs because there's no food in America. We'll all turn to cannibalism like was done in reality in Russia when Russia collapsed, when the USSR disintegrated. Same thing coming to the United States. 
But it's a gravy train, baby. We got MTV, Kim Kardashian just had a kid. What is it, Lady Diana or Di the, you know, the next uh, London Dynasty, that chick, whatever her name is, I think she had a baby or something. That's all we care about. That's America. That's the country. Yeehaw. Get this video out. I'm Christopher Green. I want to hear your comments. Hard hitting and in your face as usual. Subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at SeaGreen34, Facebook at GreenWave TV, and Twitter at GreenWave. Get it out. Peace.